there's been debate over the last few years whether third-party antivirus software is actually needed with Windows 10. The marketing from these software makers will try to convince you that you need their software to stay protected. I will show you the various ways that you can stay safe on Windows 10 without using their antivirus software. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. For the past couple of years, on my primary Windows 10 computer at home, I've used no third-party antivirus, anti-malware, or any other similar programs. While some of you might think I'm crazy, so far, I haven't had any issues. I'm now of the opinion that if you use the various tools built into Windows 10 correctly, along with a good amount of common sense, you shouldn't have the need for any additional software. The default choice for protection in Windows 10 is the built-in Windows Defender. Not only does it scan your system for viruses, it also protects against malware, spyware, and other security threats. From the moment you boot up your PC, real-time protection is running in the background to prevent any threats on the internet, in your email, the cloud, or programs you have installed from harming your system. Windows Defender has improved quite a bit over the years. In testing, it now performs at the same level or better than many of the paid antivirus programs. To open the Windows Defender Security Center, in the taskbar, in the lower right, find the Windows Defender Shield icon. You may need to click the arrow to show hidden items. Once you find it, left-click on it. Select Virus and Threat Protection. Go into Virus and Threat Protection Settings. And make sure that Real-Time Protection and Cloud Delivered Protection are both enabled. Let's go back to the previous screen. For Virus and Threat Protection updates, make sure that the last update is current. If not, go into it and have it checked for updates. For this next one, we'll stay in the Security Center. While ransomware is more common in older versions of Windows, it's still an issue to be concerned about with Windows 10. The Controlled Folder Access feature may be able to help you out. Once again, click on Virus and Threat Protection. Scroll down and select Ransomware Protection. Turn on Controlled Folder Access. It prevents malicious programs from making unwanted changes to your protected files. It also prevents ransomware from encrypting your data and taking it hostage. Select Protected Folders. There are several folders that are protected by default, including documents, pictures, videos, music, desktop, and favorites. Here at the top, clicking on Add a Protected Folder lets you browse your system for additional folders to add to your protected list. Let's now head over to Security and Maintenance. Go to the search bar and type Control Panel and select it. Click on Security and Maintenance. Expanding Security will reveal your current settings. They should look similar to this. In the left pane, select Change Security and Maintenance Settings. I would advise leaving everything checked. Let's go back and go into Change User Account Control Settings. The minimum level this should be set at is the default. Going any lower than this adds more risk. If you install a lot of lesser known software or visit unfamiliar websites, your settings should be Always Notify. And when you're done making your changes, click on OK. Most of you have enough good sense to know that you should only download and install programs that you trust from reliable sources. To be on the safe side, you can scan the installer after downloading by right-clicking on it and selecting Scan with Windows Defender. It will let you know if any threats were found. In addition, you can head over to the VirusTotal website. It uses dozens of scanners to detect suspicious files. Just click on Choose File and select the file you'd like to scan. Then click Open. Hopefully, you end up with the result, no engines detected this file. Even if you end up with a few finding a problem, don't freak out. False positives are common with many scanners. Every now and then, it's a good idea to see which programs you have installed and uninstall the ones you no longer need. You may end up finding some that are malicious or no longer safe. Here in the control panel, just above Security and Maintenance, select Programs and Features. Go through the list, and when you find a program that you no longer need, select it, and then here at the top, click on Uninstall. Just like untrusted software that you should avoid, 
It's best not to click on suspicious links or go to websites that you don't trust. VirusTotal, one of my favorite websites, which I mentioned earlier, also analyzes URLs. Select URL, input the web address of the site you don't trust, then hit enter on your keyboard to begin the scan. Even if VirusTotal finds no issues, it's still a good idea to use your best judgment before visiting suspicious websites. Unless you're 100% sure that a website is legitimate, you should never fill out any forms online. There are crooks out there that will use that information against you to distribute malware, viruses, or can be used for phishing. Even the smallest details given by you can be used for social engineering purposes. Extensions are great for adding functionality to your web browser. As many of you know, I've recommended dozens of them over the years. Whether you use Chrome, Firefox, or any other browser, it's recommended to remove the ones that you no longer use. Older extensions that are no longer being updated can be a security risk. The Windows 10 system updates, which are supposed to provide upgrades with new features, along with the latest security patches for your operating system, would normally be highly recommended. At this time, Microsoft has a major trust issue with their update procedure. I'll close this window and show you how to access Windows Update. In the lower left, left-click on the Start menu and select the Settings icon. Go to Update and Security. Over the past couple of years, doing a system update for many people feels like Russian roulette. Some of the issues that have been reported include files being deleted, numerous audio problems, and the blue screen of death. I usually update immediately, with the exception of the major spring and fall updates. With those, I'd recommend waiting a month or two for the bugs to get worked out. Just like choosing to use or not use third-party antivirus software, updating Windows 10 is also your choice. If you'd like to turn off Windows updates in Windows 10, here's how you do it. Let's exit the settings window. It's completely useless for this. Go to the search bar and type services. Select it. Scroll down the page until you find Windows Update. Right click on it and select properties. If it's running, Go down to Service Status and click on Stop. Then for Startup Type, hit the drop-down arrow and select Disabled. Click on Apply and OK to exit. Just remember to turn it back on when you'd like to receive updates. Thank you for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. If you have any other tips for staying safe on Windows 10 without third-party security software, let me know about them in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest on Windows 10 and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.